Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, another Feed the Beast Unhinged Let's Play video. So at the end of my last episode, I had set up my early game thermal expansion machines, so uh, a pulverizer and uh, an iron uh, powered furnace to smelt my uh, dust that I produce, or set up, set up a couple of steam engines to um, provide my um, MJs, and also an aqueous accumulator to uh, provide water to my steam engines. So I did actually eventually figure out what I was doing wrong with the aqueous accumulator, basically what I needed to do was just put it into the water, and uh, uh, then it uh, submerge it in the water with two source blocks either side, and then it produces enough water to sink a battleship. Quite literally, it just chugs out water for a uh, for a for a massive amount of time, and it's it's amazing. It, it doesn't require any power; it just does it automatically. I've smelt myself up, smelt myself up a load of uh, ingots so uh, using my uh, ore processing setup, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, for this video, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to do some industrial craft stuff. So set up a generator uh, to basically produce uh, EUs or uh, energy units, I think it is, something like that. A uh, bat box to store my EUs in, and also a plate bending machine, which is an early game great. Greg Tech machine, which basically allows you to uh, make plates, because they're a very, very uh, important part of uh, a lot of Greg Tech recipes. So what I'm going to do first is actually going to make a generator. So you can't actually see it come up by searching generator, uh, because all those things can basically be burnt in a generator, so they have generator in their name. But if you hit space, it will come up. So there's a couple of different recipes that you can use for uh, making the generator. You can either make an iron furnace out of uh, sort of a square of iron, or you can also um, make it with a machine block, which which um, I wouldn't recommend as you do need to use a wrench and make um, uh, refined iron plates which aren't very handy. So the cheaper recipe is definitely to use a uh, the top one, so the one with the iron furnace and the refined iron. So what I'm going to do first is make an RE battery which requires some tin plates. So I'm going to grab some tin out of here, uh, head over, grab my steel hammer. Where is it? Oh no, I'm going to grab some redstone first and some rubber because uh, I need to make some copper cabling. If this does sound a bit weird, I am doing this post commentary. Uh, I did actually manage to lose my audio, so I'm grabbing some copper there as well. So here we go, go make some uh, go make some copper cabling as this is quite an important part of uh, a lot of uh, early game industrial craft recipes. So I'm going to make enough there for, uh, well, a lot of uh, batteries so I then need to make some tin plates so for that I'm going to need an iron hammer so uh, this is the whole reason that I'm making a plate bending machine is as you can see it takes two ingots per uh, iron plate and the plate bending machine basically halves that ability so you get um, one one iron plate per iron, per ingot which is quite cool so there you go I've made my battery and then uh, what am I running back over here for I can't remember Oh yeah, some iron because I need to uh, oh yeah make the iron furnace of course and then I also need refined iron as well Need three of that. So I'm just gonna dash back over here. So make the iron furnace. Plop in the refined iron. And then finally the RE battery. There we go. Got myself a generator. So I can start producing a U. Now uh, the thing about the generator is it's only got a very small internal storage when you burn things. You can see that sort of black bar on the left will fill it with red as it uh, produces EU. So uh what you need to do to store it, you need to make a bat box which can store 40,000 EU, so uh, not a lot in the grand scheme of things when uh, I, I, I can't remember how much like late game stuff uses, but like the, the matter fabricator in Greg Tech I think requires bonkers amounts of EU, so 40,000 early game isn't a lot. So to make a bat box you basically need some more um, RE batteries and some copper cabling, so um, I'm going to grab some wood as well because uh, you need some wood to make the bat box. So then uh, I think, uh, yeah, oh, that's the wrong battery I clicked on there. So um, there you go, the RE battery, need more of those tin plates. So I'm going to run back over, grab some more tin. Sprint back over, I think. So there we go, there's 12 tin to make... Uh, I don't think that's enough. I think I end up going back for more there. So like, cause that only makes six tin... Um, <clears throat> 16 plates. So yeah, and also my hammer ran out, so I basically had to make a new uh, iron hammer. Which was kind of a pain in the tuchus. There we go, you're grabbing some more refined iron to make, uh, to make a new iron hammer. I think I go through this one and part of another iron hammer as well by the time I've actually finished making this plate bending machine, which was uh, kind of annoying, but this is kind of the, the sacrifice you have to make to... Um, and there's me realising that I needed more tin as well. So there we go, let's grab some more tin. Why don't I just grab the whole stack here? I fiddled about basically trying to get enough um, enough tin in, 
right count the right amount of tilling gots there and then basically what I should have just done is grab the stack and then figured it out when I was back over there which I think I may have ended up actually doing or did did I I went back and still filled it around with it I, I, don't, I couldn't decide whether I needed 24 ingots or 22 ingots and I finally realised I did need 22 ingots so uh, there you can see me farting about so finally got enough uh, tin ingots so there we go let's bung them in with the iron iron hammer there we go finally 12 tin plates see how expensive that was a lot of tin just to produce a few tin plates and the plate bending machine will basically stop me having to do that so there we go you've got the three re batteries and then uh i think i can just shift click that recipe in i hope that's what i do after i've made some wood so there we go some oak nope i do actually put the recipe in properly would might have been easy to shift click that in but never mind there we go bung a bit of copper cabling in and we get the back box so uh the ability to store eu bit and um, with with the bat box, the yellow all the yellow sort of uh, squares, they're all um, they're all the input faces. So you can put energy in from any of those sides, and you can only output energy from the green side. So uh, I need to change it over in a minute because uh, I want to change direction, so it's more up against the wall. So I was bugging some cold coke there and start producing EU, so quite a bit. And uh, basically, the uh, industrial craft machines are quite loud, so I turn the volume down a bit just so uh, it's not quite as intrusive on the video. Just chow down on some steak. Num 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 num. So we're going. So yeah, now I'm making the plate bending machine. I think I then uh, type in a bit more, so it just comes up with this top thing in the recipe. There it is. Yep, there we go. Plate bending machine. I like the joke there. It's like, boo, he's bad. We want Bender. Bender from Futurama. I am Bender. Please insert girder. There we go. <laughs> So he's our he's our res. So uh, I think we'd all rather have uh, Bender as in Minecraft, but unfortunately we've got to make do with uh, Greg's sadistic plate bending recipe, which requires a lot, quite quite a few resources early game. You have to quite make quite a few different sort of parts. So uh, need uh, several pistons, uh, quite a few electronic circuits, more more uh, some refined iron plates, more more RE batteries. So and then a couple of compressors as well. So I think I start off making uh, some of the electronic circuits. We shall see. So run back over. Yep, making some uh, electronic circuits. So basically, you need uh, refined iron plates to make that. Some redstone and some uh, more copper cabling. So um, I'm gonna grab half stack of copper there, half stack of rubber to make some more copper cable because you need a lot of copper cable to make electronic circuits. It's six per circuit. So uh, basically, like. When, when you put uh, three three copper and three rubber in there, you get exactly the right amount of copper cabling to make an electronic circuit. So um, I make four initially and then quickly realise you actually need six for the entirety of the uh, plate bending machine. So as you can see, I'm wasting even more ingots here by uh, trying to make more plates. When, as soon as you've made the plate bending machine, one to one conversion, which is far superior. So here we go, I'm making four... Um, ooh, I'm, I think I mis misclicked on the... Um, on the whole dragon thing there, which is kind of annoying. So there we go. There's four electronic circuits, and then um, is, is, is this the point where I suddenly realise I need more? But no, it looks like I'm going to make the RE battery first. So uh, there we go, making some more copper cabling. A lot of copper cabling in this recipe. <laughs> well, I've made, I, I did make quite quite a bit of copper cabling in this uh, in this video. It's kind of uh, kind of funny. So uh, am I going to make? Uh, I think that's the point where I suddenly realise I actually do need more electronic circuits. I'm like, no. <laughs> And then I don't have enough um, rubber there either, so I have to run back over in a second and grab some more rubber. So you haven't got 10. I'm like, damn! Not enough rubber. Let's go grab some more! <laughs> no, I was already burned through like half half the area's rubber tree, so that, uh, that, two, that uh, little stack of two gave me just enough rubber to uh, produce the uh, copper cabling that I needed. So here we go, let's produce some more copper cable. Grab some of that. There we go. And then uh, making some more uh, refined iron plates. So I need uh, two more of them to make my two more electronic circuits. More redstone. And let's bung the copper cabling in. There we go. That's one. There we go, Ollie. Two. Well done. And then what do I do next? I go for the. Um, I think I, I think I start making the. Uh, Conveyor, conveyor module. I think we. Should, what did I go back over for? Oh, more tin. Yes, because I need to make uh, more batteries. I need to make another battery, so I need eight more tin. 
So more, even more, uh, even more all wasted. It's kind of annoying that you, there's not more sort of early game efficiency uh, for making these plates, but it's kind of like the tedium of Greg Tech to make you do everything the long way, and having to use up like twice as much resources as you uh, would have to without it. So uh, kind of annoying. So I think this is the point where I start making uh, more. Um, oh no, grab some glass because that's what I need. And I think I realised I basically need some more um, refined iron plates, so <laughs> got to hammer more of them out. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about to start making the recipe, and then suddenly go, oh yeah, I need refined iron plates, don't I? Mm. <laughs> so I get rid of all of that. I always put that hammer in the wrong place at first. So there we go. There's all the refined iron plates that I need. Hopefully, that's all the uh, plates that I needed for that um, recipe. I get the feeling I might... Oh yeah, I need to make more because basically um, I need to make a couple of machine blocks in a mix which, which require even more refined iron plates. <laughs> so yeah. But it's, it's worth it's worth getting this out the way early as possible so you don't keep wasting resources uh, hammering plates around. So this is where I make the compressors next. So yeah, I go, oh yeah, I need to make uh, more... I need like even more refined iron. So, uh, so there's stone I need. And then uh, I suddenly go, oh yes... For, for, for machine blocks, I need to uh, make um, refined iron plates. So uh, I do. You also need the wrench to make refined iron plates as well. You basically put them round. Um, and, and I think even if I had, um, even if it didn't require refined iron plates, there uh, only had fourteen refined iron, and you need at least sixteen. So what I do is I chuck in some more uh, iron ingots, uh, power up my steam engines, which have run out of fuel. They produce MJ really quickly. I think it might be a glitch uh, in this version of Minecraft where basically they produce their MJ like obscenely quickly. They should produce it a lot slower than they do, but uh, I'm not complaining. It's a, it's, a, it's a good exploit, especially for something like Greg Tech where uh, you need em you need sort of energy as quickly as possible. So uh, I think what I'm going to do here is actually make the four pistons that I need for the recipe. Um, for sticky pistons in this uh, in this version, you can actually use the mine factory reloaded rubber, which saves you having to go and find like a buttload of um, uh, slimes, which uh, only require only spawn in um, swamp biomes. So we go make four pistons, and then basically what I then need to do is just wait for my um, refined iron and my, that hammer yeah I do go through a second hammer in this video which is quite annoying so I had to make another one of them before I could hammer out all my um, hammer out the rest of my iron plates and I think I just checked to see if I had enough space in my uh, po pocket pocket crafting table to make um, what I needed there but I found out I didn't so I had to run all the way back over to my uh, to my crafting bench and there you go my uh, hammer running out again so making another iron hammer Hopefully for the uh, well, you do, you do need to use it to make um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You do you do need to make some like some of the iron tools, but uh, I think now I've got enough quartz, I will probably try and rely on quartz tools until I can get uh, like power tools and stuff like that. So basically, what I'm doing here is putting down a random block of stone for no reason, and then literally just waiting for iron to smelt into uh, refined iron to make the last of my uh, iron plates. So I need, I think, I need a total of 14 there. So I'm literally just waiting for one more refined iron there. Um, boom! Last refined iron needed. So I can jog back over, make the last of those refined iron plates, bring in the iron hammer, turn them into uh, refined iron plates, make two squares of refined iron, chuck in the wrench, get two machine blocks, and there we go. And then I can make my two compressors as we're finally there. So uh, two columns of stone either side. There we go, two automatic compressors, and then I think it literally just shift click. Plate bending machine! Woo! Excellent. And then I just use my uh, iron wrench to change the direction of the uh, output face of the bat box. And there we go, my uh, plate bending machine is uh, gaining power. And then I think I just give you an example of what it can do. So you put, bung in one, uh, one ingot and you get one plate out the other side, which is awesome. So no longer waste having to use up hammers or uh, waste ingots by having to use two per plate. So yeah, that's um, basically two basic industrial craft machines and a basic Greg, Greg, Greg Tech machine, as you can see the little Greggy symbol in the bottom right-hand corner of the interface. So yeah, um, that was nice and simple. What I'm probably going to do in the next uh, couple of videos is get uh, my Mine Factory Reloaded tree farm set up, as uh, I have actually been experimenting with it on the server I play on, which is an Unleashed server with um, with Greg Tech installed, so I've already been uh, 
experimenting around with the mine factory reloaded tree farm it's awesome you can basically produce like essentially unlimited amounts of wood to fuel a solid fueled firebox boiler and then use the steam from that boiler to run all your machines for at least at the beginning so uh, probably what i'll do in the next video is get the two basic machines for that setup which will be the planter and the harvester and then probably in the video after that i'll get the sort of the supplementary machines for that heart, uh, that tree farm which will be the uh, a composter and a what's the word i'm looking for a a sewer which basically will produce the fertilizer to help grow the trees a bit quicker so i'm going to leave the video there thanks for watching everybody please comment on my video please comment on my videos let me know what you liked what you didn't like what you think i can do differently what you think i can do better uh, if you'd like my videos uh, please like and possibly favorite and drop a subscribe if you want to see more of my content in the future so uh again thanks for watching everybody and i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>